Remember back in the day when current events was boring? Can we go back to that? Do, 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 do. Time to make some new skid marks in your underpants, ladies and germs, because World War III is just around the corner. Nancy Pelosi went on her field trip to Taiwan despite threats of violence from the Chinese. Now, according to the sources that I made up, they threatened to, and I'm quoting something here, uh, Kung Pao her chicken. Well, that doesn't sound very pleasant. So now the Chinese are all kinds of pissed and the fear of World War III becomes even more of a horrifying reality as the day goes by. It's really fucking wonderful. And with all the fears of war brewing all over the world, there's one thought that is consuming a respectable number of individuals. How is this going to affect me? I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kinda glad you asked. To be honest, World War III hasn't even started yet and it's already starting to confuse the hell out of me. Here's my problem. I'm a white American white man. So therefore, I need to apologize for my race and condemn America for what it did to the blacks, which makes sense. But if the Chinese decide to invade Taiwan, then I have to hate the Chinese because the Chinese are threatening Taiwan's democracy. The only problem with that is if I admit to hating the Chinese, that means I inherently hate the communism that they practice, then that makes me a toxic racism. Come to think of it, China is responsible for the iPhone that I use to post my anti-racism videos on the TikToks. So that means that I have to support support China, but considering the sheer amount of violence assaults against the yellows at the hands of the blacks, if I support the yellows, then I'm hating the blacks, and if I hate the blacks, then I'm a Trump supporter who loves America. God damn it, why the hell couldn't we have just gone to war with Russia like everybody planned? That would have made all of this racism so much easier to figure out. This is white people doing it to white people. Yeah. So, and this yeah. is, you know, y'all go fight amongst yourselves, but <laughs> don't, you know. And if things weren't complicated enough, it's fucking election season, which means that I have to spend even more time loving the Chinese. I learned to love Chinese food, Chinese music, Chinese movies, and the sacred art of binding my wife's feet so she can never leave me. I even took things one step further. In an attempt to show my appreciation for yellow language, I went to every single yellow I could find and said ching chong bing bong ding dong, and the results were pretty fascinating. 5% used ancient Chinese karate to collapse my lungs, 3% thought I was challenging them to dance dance revolution, 7% attempted and failed the dreaded Kawasaki guillotine, 16% invited me out to karaoke, and strangely enough, a staggering 92.9% .9 kept telling me how horny they were and how long they could love me. But I'm so confused anymore. How the hell am I supposed to figure any of this out? I don't think you understand how badly this is warping my brain because nothing is bringing me out of this slump. Not even the thought of pumping Brian Stelter's stomach full of hot yogurt. It's been so frustrating that it makes me want to find a Trump supporter so I can spit in their drink. Hate isn't supposed to be this lazy, it used to be so simple. I was supposed to hate myself and every single black-faced white supremacist that refused to admit that I had privilege. But things have grown so hateful that we've now devolved into racial grudge matches. We've got trans, lesbian, dyke cheerleaders choking out biological females. We got red buffalo eaters taking on white colonizers, which admittedly is pretty cool. It's kind of like Little Bighorn 2, and this time, it's pretty personal. Hell, even the cripples are diving headfirst into the the fray. They're using their collective retard strength to go after Beyonce herself. On a serious note, this is like challenging Zeus to a boxing match and winning clean in the first round. Yeah, it can get pretty confusing out there with all of that misdirected hate, but luckily the Federal Bureau of Investigations is coming in to help us out by giving us a target with which to redirect all of that hate. You guessed it, it's white domestic extremist terrorists. The FBI released a document stating that anybody who has a Gazden flag, a Punisher t-shirt, or a Betsy Ross flag should should be considered suspicious of supporting terrorism, thus further demonizing a group of people who are simply proud of their history, heritage, and independence. And even though this document doesn't directly accuse anybody of domestic extremism, it does give powerful branches of the federal government like the FBI and the ATF enough cause to investigate you, illegally search your house, and violate your private property rights as well as your freedom of self-expression. And the timing simply couldn't be better, because what better time to try and exacerbate civil unrest than when we're on the cusp of worldwide armed conflict with some of the most powerful countries on the face of the planet. So I think we should all take second to give thanks to Nancy Pelosi. She may be a loathsome cunt. Yeah, that about sums it up.
What is up, Mahones? Arston the Unclean here. Thank you for checking out the new video. Even if we don't agree politically, I'm sure we can all agree that World War III is pretty fucked, and you may want to take a second to consider hitting that like and subscribe button down below. If you have a hankering for leaving a comment in the comment section, don't let me stop you. Today's subject is carbonated water. I think we should all take a moment to say thank you to Project Veritas for making us aware of all the batshit insane things that have been going on in the world today, especially within our government and social media. Joe Biden straight up hates these bastards, so they must be doing something right. And as always, thank you for caring, and I'll see you in the gulag.